here's a big welcome to all of our viewers at GoFigureNews.com. I am TJ. Today we have a big guy here, to a big little guy to share with you. And I am so excited because this comes from Jack's Pacific, which we haven't had much of an opportunity to take a look at the toys and figures from this particular brand, so this is quite special. Now, of course, what you're witnessing is the new Link figure from, of course, the Legend of Zelda, which is a unbelievably popular game on Nintendo through the company that brings you so much exciting gaming. He boasts seven points of articulation, and he is the hero of Hyrule. Uh, from the world of Nintendo. This link here comes with his shield and his sheath and sword. They're all separate items. He is 20 inches tall and it is quite a good looking figure. I have to say in terms of the sculpt, uh, this, is, this is actually probably one of the best representations of Link that I've seen yet. And there are many, many, many out there in many different formats. And you usually see this figure quite small. So you think about this figure in terms of being almost like, almost like a pixie or some sort of a, a you know, one of these figures that, that is gone in a flash. But no, here he is in all his glory. Now I'm gonna take him out of his confines, the packaging confines, but I wanted to show you the back of the box so that you have a flavor for what the entire box looks like and it comes like this sort of with an open face as I showed you. There's some cool information in Le Français on the back of the packaging. It shows you a few different ways in which you can pose the figure um, and I'm just going to read you the beginning of the passage here. The courageous Hylian hero of the Legend of Zelda series is always clad in green. You know, good thing we don't have a green screen, otherwise he would be like just his face glowing. Now let's see here. And while he wields everything from bows to shields to boomerangs, his iconic weapon is the Master Sword, which he comes with here. His ears are pointed and while he is honorable and unrelenting in his pursuit of justice, he also has a playful side. So this is cool. I think this will appeal to people of all ages. Particularly, I think this is a great kid's toy because the size sort of has a sort of a uh, identification of like, I mean, not that kids are 20 inches tall, but it's more close to a one-on-one -on -one relationship than a, a small, like, uh, you know, six-inch figure or smaller might have. So this gives you sort of an idea of um, what a hero could look like. He has these uh, wonderful sort of marigold locks. Uh, the eyes have this sort of almost pointed quality. They are done with decals. The, uh, the lips and the nose and the face and the ears, the pointed uh, sort of elfin ears, are all uh, sort of this peachy, fleshy color. And then the uh, lips uh, have no coloration, so it sort of all molds into itself. The eyebrows are a slightly darker color than the hair, and he comes complete with two sort of teal earrings on either side, of course, one in each ear. And the costumery, being this sort of almost um, bright um, lime sort of green color, and these gauntlets here, which are uh, sort of a dark, almost, almost navy blue, a little bit lighter than navy blue. His uh, hands, which have total rotation, have a brown sort of half glove. Uh, comes with his uh, sort of octagon-ish uh, belt buckle, which is in the same uh, sort of kind of uh, gray color that almost matches the shield. And he's got a belt and a, a harness strap going around his back. And, um, and then I'm going to take him out of the box so you can take a look at him, okay? Yes. 
So here we have Link in all his glory outside of the box. Way better than inside the box. Uh, don't let those displays fool you when you're inside uh, you know, a big box store or wherever you shop for these particular figures. Now this figure is available and best priced at Entertainment Earth and we are happy to have had this figure provided uh, generously by them. I want to show you a couple things that the figure does. Now we're going to take a look at the back so you can see the uh, the waist pack here. Um, these are kind of cool because the um, the arms, though this is the exact same color as what you see for the jacket, are hard plastic and then the bottom part of the jacket and these bags are all, as well as the uh, the belt, are all done in a soft kind of almost vinyl uh, material. There is a gray sort of almost chain mail-esque sort of look to the bottom of the, um, the, the lengthy vest here. I'm not exactly sure what you call this garment. If you know, please uh, pop that in the comments here. The uh, hat is, of course, this super cool, almost, um, you know, uh, it's almost kind of a cartoonish style uh, hat, which um, looks like almost a pajama hat matched with a, um, you know, like a night stocking cap with a, um, it almost looks like a sea creature, to be honest with you, when you look at it closely. Um, and, uh, and I think they've done a fantastic job on the sculpt, particularly on the texturing of all of the material from head to toe. Uh, I love, 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 love the articulation. Now check out the arms. Okay, so the arms go up and they semi-lock in place, which is cool. So imagine him, you know, side by side with one of your um, smaller figures, which would probably be less than half of his size. So, limited on articulation, however, really, really, really amazing job on the sculpt. Look at those boots. They did a fantastic job all around. Now, you also have to note that these holes appear, and this is, these are probably what I would uh, assume are mold holes. Uh, so when they pour the mold for the plastic, you, uh, you see these, these holes because it needs to be placed and then, and then pulled. Uh, most likely, of course, by machine. One thing also to note is that he has this high collar, which has a little bit of a V. This is also made of the same type of hard plastic material that, the, the, uh, that most of the figure is made from. So here he is. Now, I'm going to show you a couple of his accessories. Now, he comes with his shield. This is the shield. This is the front and the back, his almighty shield, which is actually synonymous with this figure. Let's, uh, let's put it in his hand, see how this goes. Here is Link holding his shield. Uh, it took a little bit to, to get it into his hand, but once it's in there, it's in there pretty tight. He can hold the shield up like this, and there's probably 15 different ways of holding it. His uh, thumb, and uh, additional fingers kind of have a little bit of a rubberized stretch to them. So they are made of a slightly different material than the, uh, the harder plastic material. He also comes with this sheath, which is gorgeous and really well made. It is made of a plastic. It's another hard uh, coated plastic. Um, so unlike, you know, for instance, figures that you'd see in the Hot Toys line, which are much, much, much higher, higher, higher end. Um, this figure retails for about $40 or slightly less. So you're getting a great value for that particular price point. So someone who has, doesn't have the, the swipeable plastic to purchase something 200 bucks and up, this is going to be a wonderful secondary option for having a very large figure. The other thing to say is that these Nintendo figures aren't available through, uh, through other dealers like, say, uh, Sideshow Collectibles or, um, or Gecko or uh, some of the other 
makers of large-scale figures, uh, Go Hero, for instance. And this is actually slightly larger. So again, he's 20 inches tall. And this is his sword, which I will show you. Both sides are pretty much identical. Here we have, it's like a light blue in the center. It's got white along the edges. It's got this sort of eagle motif and then this crisscross pattern on the handle. I think that this is quite beautiful, actually. Now, here is the sheath. Here is the sword. And ta-da! Perfectly fit. Now, one of the things to note is that this actually um, can fit right into, there's like an interlocking spot right here on his back where this particular lock will go in and hold it into place. So let me do that for you. Voila! So this is the way it looks. And I think that that's, that's quite, quite a beautiful thing. So that looks really great on a shelf. Uh, this is, I'll give you a 360, a slow 360. And that's Link. Looking good, Link. And here he is with his, with his shield. And let's see how the sword, fits into his hand. Wow, he looks really, really cool with the sword in his hand. Let's check this out. Here's Link right here <laughs> with the sword up to the sky. And let's see what it looks like from the reverse. All right, so here is Link with his sword held high, with his shield held high. And then I'm going to put the sword down so that you can see what it looks like here. That's Link from Legend of Zelda and the World of Nintendo by Jack Pacific. This is TJ for GoFigureNews.com, wishing you well. Out.